Well, I don't skateboard, and I certainly don't snowboard, but I can kneeboard. So, stick around. the channel. My name is Mad Riggins, and if you're new here, and you're a pilot, or you're a flight simmer, or you're an aviation enthusiast, then consider subscribing to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can get updates for all future videos. So a kneeboard is a pretty simple thing. It's just kind of a flat surface with a clip on the top, and it's got an elastic band that goes around your leg so that uh, you can put a chart or uh, notes or whatever and uh, be able to write on it and it just sits on top of your leg. So uh, starting out with the uh, elastic first, I uh, went through my uh, uh, storage area and found uh, some various sizes of elastic and what I decided to use was inch and a half. Uh, I've got a piece here, it's a perfect size. And you can see it's very stretchy there. And uh, that will go around the leg. Now, as far as how to keep it attached, um, I just got this kind of clip thing that I found in that same bag. And the way it works is this, opens up like a claw and um, we'll uh, catch the elastic like that and then you snap it back down and that will hold it on really tight as far as the other end goes it's just going to go through like this and then I'm going to sew it just like that so we'll start with that and uh, then we'll make the board next This in the industry is known as a really bad stitch. <laughs> I apologize uh, to the uh, seamstresses around the world and the sewing community. Uh, I did uh, not want to uh, butcher your craft. <laughs> I don't know how to sew one bit. Um, so I just went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth a few times. Uh, just to make it strong and hold, uh, and that's it. Um, for the purpose that I'm going to use it for, to stick it around my leg, is going to work just fine. So as you can see, woo, that's really stretchy, and that works really well. And then um, uh, when I uh, when I cut the board, I will cut two slits on each side, and uh, this will slide up through and then around, so it will hold the knee board down like that. And then this will go under the leg like so, raise this up, this will clamp in there like that and then lock into place like that and that will give me my uh, elastic around the leg. So let's work on cutting out the board now. Now there's two ways I could think about designing a DIY knee board. Uh, my first thought was to use 1 8 MDF and you can see that's about the same width there as a knee board and simply cut out a piece. Um, and then you could use possibly a binder clip. So it looks kind of like that. And uh, you can buy these in the store at Staples or whatever. This is a small one. I use uh, these for the 3D printer to hold the glass down uh, to the bed. Um, but you could potentially, if you got a bigger one, maybe you could put it in like this um, at the top. And so if you secure that, then you have a area where you can do a clip. Uh, the only issue I was thinking about this is um, what do you use to actually uh, secure that to the wood? You wouldn't want to put a screw uh, with a washer um, because, um, you know, the screw would poke through the other end and then you're going to end up with, um, you know, something poking in your leg. Uh, so my other thought was maybe if you rivet it, use a washer on the top and then put a rivet through and rivet it, that would probably work. Um, so that's one way I could think about doing it. Um, if you have other ideas uh, or, or suggestions, uh, put them down in the comments down below because I'd be interested to hear what you have to say. Um, what I'm going to do is I actually went and got for $2, 
a little six by nine inch clipboard. Um, and uh, this is, this is gotta be, I think this is MDF as well. Although this is a little bit more sturdy and compressed, I think, than that piece of wood I had. But again, it's got a clip on the top, which is great. It's spring-loaded. Um, so the only modification I really have to do to this is simply just use my Dremel and Dremel out two little, you know, uh, rectangular uh, holes here. And I'm, and I'm done. Uh, so I'm going to do that now. And uh, let's take a look. One thing I want to talk about really quick, uh, since I love adhesives, is um, people have been talking about the woman who put Gorilla Glue in her hair. Um, I think it was a spray adhesive form or something like this. Uh, Gorilla Glue makes a lot of different glues. So this is kind of a foam-based glue uh, that I like using. They also make CA glue, and I use their CA glue as well for my 3D printing purposes. Uh, but I will tell you that, that this stuff, even though it's a foam-based, um, <laughs> it crystallizes and this stuff gets really hard. I mean, on the bottom, if you can see, it looks like a foam. Um, and it is a foam base. It's, you know, easier to get off there. But, uh, this stuff is really, really hard. And, uh, if I hit this even just with the mallet, you know, it literally did, you know, nothing to it. So... Uh, yeah, don't put this stuff in your hair. Don't get it on your skin or your body. Um, you may have uh, irritations or may have an allergic reaction to it. I don't know, but just don't get that stuff on your skin. So I got my board, and of course, the first thing I'm going to kind of do is just put it on my knee and just see where I kind of want that strap to go. I've got a spare piece here, and I'm just going to use this as a reference. I'm thinking right, right in the middle, maybe. And that way we have enough uh, room across to uh, even out the, uh, the tension there. So this should be 9 inches, which it is, which means 4.5 is dead center. So ironically, the pens that came with these, I'm going to use that and see if it works. And uh, we'll mark it 4.5 inches on each side. This way, just like so, and then that way I can get a center line on it at four and a half. So we'll do that. We'll go across at four and a half. Okay. Now that I have that. And I can very easily lay this right in the center and then give myself a little bit of a mark there and there and there and there. So that will at least tell me where I'm going to be cutting top to bottom, top to bottom. Um, and uh, now what I got to do is decide how far in I'm going to come so that I don't put so much pressure on it that it just breaks that end off because you got to remember that this piece cannot go through the hole on the bottom and then across and then down to the hole because if it does then it does this and while that's fine for holding a piece of paper it's not going to work if you wanted to write on this and that's the whole purpose is to be able to write so I can take notes if I wanted to use it as a knee board. I know that typically you're going to put everything up on the clip on the yoke uh, uh, or you're going to have something like this, or you're just going to write things down. But I just wanted to have a new board anyway, so there we go. Um, so I'm thinking, how far in do we come? Um, I'm going to do it at half an inch. I think half an inch will be fine. So I'm going to do half an inch on each one here. Right there, right there. And we'll draw that line. And we're just going to go top to bottom on that, okay? And then as far as how thick the hole to make it, um, let's see what would look good. I think probably, hmm, not a quarter, maybe I'll do an 
eighth inch. I think eight eighth inch is more than sufficient for holding this. Okay, so we'll do eighth of an inch. And that will give me the lines I need to cut out with the Dremel. As far as how to cut that with the Dremel, I think since it's a disc, I'm just going to start it in the center and then work my way over. There, I now have the two holes, the two slits for the band. And then, like I said, having that half inch on each end gives it enough that when this pulls down and tightens, it's not just going to break off. That's it for the knee board. Let me try wrapping it around my leg and see if it works. And there we go. That is working really nice. So <clears throat> that gives me the knee board. It's holding on very snug. It's not ripping out the sides. I can now lift up the clip, put my chart there, and uh, right away. Plus, I've got the pen holder in these. So I'll put a link to these boards in the description below. And uh, it was about, this is a three pack, but they came out to about $2.50 each. Uh, and that worked out really well. Hey, 73 Sim Crew, thanks for watching the video on the DIY knee board. If you like the video, if you like the channel, then make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and hit that notification bell so you can get updates on all future flight and cockpit and build videos. Again, thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Matt Riggins, Blue Sky.